setting up a freebie library on your website is one of the best ways to build an email list. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you all the way through how to set up a freebie library from the opt-in, the thank you page, and then also the library page with all of the different content that you have to offer inside of your freebie library. So let's get to it. All right. So in this video, we are going to walk all the way through setting up a freebie library. Um, a lot of people get the process of this a little confused just because there's a lot of moving parts with your um, email service provider. And we're going to use ConvertKit here in this video, but the process is going to be very similar whether you're using MailerLite or any other um, email service provider. But you've got that side of things and then you also have the steps that your customer takes um, from a front end perspective when they are opting into your freebie library, how they're accessing it, and then how you are updating your content inside of the freebie library. So we're going to sort of walk all the way through that. Now, um, before we dive in, I just want to let you know that we are going to be using the freebie library block collection from Restore 316, um, just because all of these pages are already sort of pre-done for us. And so all we have to do is go in and swap out the copy, swap out the images, and then it's all good to go. Now, the steps that the customer takes is really going to be um, around these three pages that come with this block collection, okay? So there's going to be an opt-in page. That's the very first thing that your readers will see. So this is just an introduction to your freebie library and you're giving them kind of a sneak peek of what they're going to find inside. Um, now, in order for them to access your freebie library, they have to join your list, right? And then um, once they join your list, you're going to provide them a password that they're going to use to access the actual freebie library, okay? Now, if someone lands here, and this is really the main page that you're going to be linking to on your website, so you're not going to link directly to the actual freebie library like anywhere other than on this page through this link right here that says already a member log in here and this will take them actually to the freebie library and they'll have to enter in that password to access all of the content on this page. Okay. Now immediately after somebody opts in and they enter their name and email address here and they hit that subscribe button, we want to take them directly to a thank you page. And so that's what this is, right? So it'll just let them know, thank you. Your freebie access is in your inbox. And I'm going to show you how we can get kind of an, an email to them that gives them access with a link to access the freebie library. And we're going to give them a password to access it. And then um, uh, I'll show you kind of all of that. All right. So what we're going to do is go into our demo site and we're going to start with creating um, an opt in page. Um, and we're going to kind of be flipping back between our website and uh, ConvertKit here. So just kind of bear with me as we go. So I am just starting a new page and I'm going to name it um, freebie, oops, freebie library opt-in. Okay. And then I'm going to use our design library tab right here and I'm going to select freebie library. And here's our three pages that come with the freebie library block collection. And I'm just going to click on opt-in page. Okay. And it's going to automatically populate everything into my page for me. Now I can come behind all of this and I can click in and adjust all of the copy. Um, I can also replace this graphic with something of my own. I can click on this image and um, swap out this image in the background as well. Um, I'm going to leave all of the design details alone just to um, not make this video super long. Um, but we want to get our form in here so that people can actually subscribe, right? So let's pop over to ConvertKit and we're going to go to grow and landing pages and forms and we're going to create a new form. So I'm going to create new and it's going to be a form and we're going to choose inline and we're going to choose the Claire form. Okay. And then up here at the top, we're going to rename this the freebie library access. Okay. And then let's go ahead. I'm going to adjust the color of this real quick. We're going to change it to that green color. I'm going to remove the border radius on it. I'm going to select my email field and I'm also going to remove the border radius there. And then I also want to add a first name field. So I'm going to click that plus icon, make sure this is selected. And over here under custom field, I'm going to choose first name and then I'm going to drag this and just move it there to the left. So that first name comes before email address. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save on that. And then we're going to go over to settings 
and then we are going to redirect to an external page and this is going to be the thank you page that we create so we're going to come back to that and then under incentive we want to send an incentive email and this is where we're going to give access to our freebie so i'm going to do edit email contents and what I would do here is update the subject line and say, um, welcome to our freebie library. Okay. And um, you can adjust the copy here with whatever you want to welcome them to your freebie library. Okay. We're going to change the text on this to access um, the freebie library now. Okay. And then right above this, we're going to add a paragraph that says, um, in order to access our freebie library, you'll need the password below. However you want to do this. You can word this however you want. But we're going to just create a password, and I'm just going to do freebie24. Okay, and I'm just going to make it bold. So they've got that right there. And then this button is going to go to our actual freebie library. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna edit those things here in a few minutes. But for now, I'm gonna just go ahead and save it. Okay, and we're gonna publish it. Okay, and then over on our website, instead of this custom HTML block, I'm gonna delete this because I have the ConvertKit plugin installed on my site. So I'm going to just add a new block here. I'll hit that plus icon. And I can either search for ConvertKit or at, it was already popping up for me. So I'll do ConvertKit form. And then over here, I will choose the freebie library. Now it's not popping up because I just did it. So let's go back real quick. And we're going to go to tools. Oops, hold on. I'm sorry, settings and ConvertKit. And I'm just going to save down here. By just resaving this page, it will force those any new forms to come in. So I'll go back to pages and we're going to edit this one and select that form. And then we'll do a freebie library access now. Perfect. And I'm going to change the color of this. All right. So now we have our freebie library access. I'm going to go ahead and publish that page. Let's go ahead and view it and make sure it's all looking good. Perfect. I'm going to do one thing um, to show. So you see this amount of space that we have up here. This is the content padding. So I'm going to click on this little icon right here for our page settings and under content vertical spacing, I'm going to disable it on this page. So let's go ahead and refresh. Here we go. All right. So here's our freebie library opt-in. All right. So now we got to do our thank you page. We need all these pages created so that we can go back into ConvertKit and link everything together. So I'm going to do freebie library. Thank you. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the design library, make sure I'm on freebie library and we're going to choose the thank you page and click on that. And it's going to insert everything into our page. Perfect. And then on this button, we're just going to link it back to our main website. So I'm going to grab this URL and we're going to redo that link here. Perfect. All right, now on this page, if you remember, let's see if I have it up here. Well, let's go to the thank you page. Um, there shouldn't be a header or anything else on this page. So really the only thing that they see is starting right here, all the way down to this button. So on this particular page, we want to do a couple things. I'm gonna click on this icon. I'm gonna disable the header and footer, and I'm going to disable the content vertical spacing. And we're gonna go ahead and publish that page. Okay, I'm going to hit view page. Perfect. So that's what they'll see. And then they have to click on back to the main website in order to go back. Perfect. All right. And then we got one more page to do, and that's our actual freebie library. So I'm going to hit add new. And then this is just going to be called freebie library. And we'll go to the design library and make sure we're on freebie library. And I'm going to select this and it's going to go ahead and insert everything into the page for me. Okay, perfect. All right. And again, we're going to click on this icon and I'm going to disable the content vertical spacing and it's okay that we have the header and footer on this. All right. So 
So what we could do is you can come in here and adjust all of these headings to whatever you want them to be. Um, currently, they are just linked to anchors. So you've got this row layout that is currently, this, this one right here is an anchor. So this is linked to one, you'll see here, let's see link settings you'll see it's linked to hashtag one so that will bump somebody right down to this section so you don't want to mess with that too much you'll just click into each of these titles and you'll just put in whatever text you want and it'll automatically keep that link for you and then you'll come into each section and uh, um, adjust the title here you'll click on your images and swap those out and then you'll update the links for your download now button so that your um, end user can download those particular free items. If there's a particular section here that you don't need, you can always select the row layout and click on the three dots and delete it and it'll go away for you. So I'll just delete three and four and then we also don't need them up here either. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these and delete. And so then we just have the two links there as well okay so that's kind of how you'll adjust your freebie library but let's go ahead and i'm going to hit publish all right so we need to grab these links so i'm going to click on this we've got our thank you page we've got our actual freebie library and then we have our opt-in okay so now let's go back into convert kit i'm going to grab this link here for the thank you page and i'm going to go back to settings and under general we're going to redirect to the thank you page Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save Oops. and then let's go back to incentive and under this URL we're going to change this to the actual freebie library. So we're going to grab this link and copy and I'm going to change this out to that. All right. So now when someone gets this incentive email, they'll have this password, which we're about to do. And when they click on this link, it'll automatically take them to the freebie library and they'll have to enter a password. Now, how do we do a password on that? So you have to publish the page first, okay? And then you'll come into your list of pages here and you'll do a quick edit on the one that is your actual freebie library. And you'll get this password field right here. So I'm gonna do freebie 24 I think that's what we used in convert kit uh, freebie 24 yep all right and so I will go ahead and hit update and so now I'm going to go view that page and we'll see what it looks like so this is what they'll see um, right off the bat is this content is password protected and they'll have to enter in the password in order to enter so let's do freebie 24 and enter and here you go now they can access everything and so anytime you want to come in here and add a new freebie you'll just come in and edit the freebie library page and add the new item and let me actually show you that real quick so let's go edit this page so let's say we only have two items here so let's open this up okay so let's look at this third column I'm going to go ahead and delete this so let's say for example you only have two items here under free business guides and now all of a sudden you come in here and you want to add a third all you have to do is open up your document overview your list view right here and select the section that already has an image and a download now button in it then you will click the three little dots and hit duplicate and it'll automatically duplicate that for you so that all, all you have to do now is replace the image and upload the link for the download now button and you can do that as many times as you want so you can just click on this and duplicate and over and over and it will continue to duplicate and it will remain in columns of three if that's what you have selected like this one is in columns of four but you can always select the row layout and you've got your columns right here so if you wanted it to be four columns you can easily adjust it here um, as well to however many you want it to be actually okay so that's how you'll add additional freebies and that's how you get everything sort of all synced together so that you, your users can easily opt in, enter their name and email address, they're taken to that thank you page, they get an email with access to your freebie library and the password to it. All right, so that should be everything that you need to know about getting your freebie library all set up and ready to go.